to have his darshan. Our party of 10 came from America. And here you see we're crossing the Rajasthan Desert. This is the last 60 miles of our journey. We'd come by train all night long from Delhi <clears throat> across the desert to sit at the feet of Santa Jav Singh. When we pulled into the ashram where Sanchi lives, we really felt like we'd come home. This is a view of the fields outside the ashram where they grow the food for the workers, for the guests, and for Sanchi. Sanchi's room is this small room at the top of the ashram wall where we spend many happy hours sitting at his feet, having his darshan, asking questions and receiving answers, and meditating with him. He taught us to be strong, told us that only the brave ones will meditate, and he gave us the desire to meditate. The trees and vegetation on the other side of this wall are made possible by water brought by irrigation canals from the mountains. Inside the ashram, we'll see cows that provide milk for the people there, and piles of lumber that have been cut from trees that grow outside the ashram, which will be used to build a new satsang hall. The satsang hall will be reserved only for satsang and meditation. I was uh, sitting on the bank of river and one papiha came there. He died out of thirst and fell into the river, but he never opened his beak to drink that water. So he has written that papiha will die out of thirst, but he will never drink water of river or any other place except from the rain. Maharaj have type of furniture. You, you better go and call the carpenter at your home, mm. rather than to going to him for asking to prepare chair and a table and like that. So once you have carpenter in your home, you can say him to prepare whatever you want. So in the same way, if you have manifested master within you, you can ask him to do whatever you want. But first thing is that you should manifest or you should have master with you. Don't ask for the worldly things except First ask Master for his sake and then afterwards he will do your work. But once you are manifested Master, your mind will become like this, that you will never ask any worldly things from him. And just as the diamond is protected by his Master, just as, just as we protect the diamond or any valuable thing, in the same way we will protect the wealth of spirituality and we will not let that wealth go astray. Mm -hmm. उसे थले कम कोई वक्त आया असी रिश्तेदारी जे इकट्ठे हुए उसने पता लग गया कि ए साडा ही आदमी है मेरे ते बड़ा नाराज होया कह लगा तू मेनू जे दसदा मैं तेनु बड़ी हेल्प करदा बड़ा मैं तेनु अच्छी तरह रखदा लेकिन मैं उसने सोचया जवाब दता बड़ा प्यार दे नाल मैं के मैं गुरु नानक दी बाणी जे पढ़या कर फरमाइश खाया वेख मैल तमरन वसारया जर आई जो बनहारया के किसे से मांग के खाना फरमाइश करके खाना ये बहुत बुरा है अगर हमारी किस्मत में है दुख है सुख है गरीबी है अमीरी है बीमारी है तंदुरुस्ती है छह चीजें हर इंसान लिखा के ले और उसको भोगणियां भी जरूर पहननी है चाहे वो कितना भी क्यों ना 
ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਰਿਆਦ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਸ਼ਰਦੀਆਂ ਨਾ ਆਉਣ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਉਣਗੀਆਂ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਰਿਆਦ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਗਰਮੀਆਂ ਨਾ ਆਉਣ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਉਣਗੀਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਫਰਿਆਦ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੇ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਕਬੂਲ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਫਰਿਆਦ ਹੈ ਸਿਰਫ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸੀ ਫਰਿਆਦ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲਾ ਲੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਭਟਕ ਭਟਕ ਕੇ ਥੱਕ ਗਏ ਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦੇਂਦਾ ਦੇ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਥੱਕ ਪਾਏ ਜੁਗਾ ਜਗੰਤਰ ਖਾਹੀ ਖਾਏ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੈਥੋਂ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਥੱਕ ਗਏ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਤੂੰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਆ ਕਰ ਮਿਹਰ ਕਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲਾ ਲੈ ਦੈਟ ਇਸ ਮਾਈ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਓਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਥੈਟ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਆਰਮੀ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਐਨ ਆਰਡੀਨਰੀ ਸੋਲਜਰ of very little rank of smaller rank and there was one colonel who was my relative but he was not knowing me personally so once we met in the social uh, in the in some marriages like gathering like marriage so he recognized me and told me that why you didn't came to me i would have helped you in getting some big post so i told him in guru uh, guru nanak has also written in bani that we should not ask for anything to anybody because whatever there is written in our faith in our destiny we are going to get that the poverty the richness for any reward here in this world and what they are going to carry when they will leave this world means they do some meditation and they ask for any worldly thing in solution camp so what they will carry with them and those who are selflessly doing meditation without having any worldly desire from guru only god knows how they will be benefited that those who are the initiates of our master just as we digest the food we eat in the same way we have to digest the wealth of meditation wealth which we get from meditation we are not to Uh, lose it by in the form of ego and we should never let anybody know that we are something we should never do like that that oh i am in sant mat and i do meditation and i am something like that so we have to protect the wealth which we get from meditation guru dev te Sanjay, do you have any personal questions to Master Kripal Singh? What, if, what questions did he ask Master? Do you have any questions from Baba Ji? If you have any questions, who would you ask? I don't have any questions from Baba Ji. I never asked any personal questions. No. I don't have any questions from Baba Ji. from the very beginning from the very childhood i never never had any personal question mera dimag bilkul hi jati sawalon to khali hai bachpan se my mind is blank in respect to the questions kaise vaaste jab log aise sawal karde hain main udaas ho janna hai ki inne sant mat ko kya samjha so that is why when people stood here frozen at the sight of a movie camera until I told him in Punjabi to laugh. Sanji asked us one afternoon if we'd like to go for a walk with him. So he said yes.
Sachi took us for a walk all around the large plot of ground, showing us all the different types of vegetation that the villages grow in this area. This is the one day a week that they get water from the canal system. The rest of the days, the canals are dry. This is the caravan of love. Wherever a saint walks, people walk behind him on the path of love. If the walk goes on long enough, the whole world will be following him. Sanji told one of the Savadars to cut sugarcane for us. And then he stood and gave us darshan at the side of the canal while we all ate it. The fellow right behind Sanchi is walking exactly in Sanchi's footsteps. Something which we'd all like to do. Sanchi was very, very pleased to see Gerald Boyce, an old man who came from Sanbani Ashram. He said, we don't celebrate birthdays in India but I'm so pleased that you have come that we'll have a special celebration because you have come. And so he arranged for a special treat to be prepared when we had our normal meal and Sanchi came down and sat with us while we ate. Sanchi said, this isn't your birthday, but from now on it will be. From now on you can celebrate your birthday on this day, October 13th. Sanchi gave us a lot of personal attention. And then he asked, would we like to go outside and take some pictures? So we went out, first we sat in the shade, and then we decided we better move over where it was sunnier. And he was very, very concerned about Gerald. He wanted to make sure that Gerald was perfectly comfortable. Halfway through this session, he sent someone to run back inside and get Gerald's hat. Dance always. The 
A few days later, Sanji asked us if we'd like to go for another walk. He took us to the hut where he used to meditate sometimes, before the ashram was built. Tractor and trailer, about 50 people came from 16 PS to attend the monthly satsang. They had to drive two hours over dusty roads.
ਜਦ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਜਾਮਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਤਹਾਰ ਹੋਏ ਇਹ ਬਿਆਨ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਪਨੀਆਂ ਹੈ ਸੁਸਤਰਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਸਤਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਕਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਜਦ ਮਿੱਠਾ ਅਗਲਾ ਤਾਂ ਮਿੱਠਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸ਼ਰਾਬਾਂ ਚ ਬਾਦਾ ਹੀ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਆ ਸਾਥ ਕਰਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਥ ਪਤਾ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲੈ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਬਿਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਭਰਾਵਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਲੈਣਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਹੈ ਲੈ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਬਿਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਰਹੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਮਾਸਾ ਬਲਾ ਮਾਸੀ ਨਾ ਕਹੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਹੂਗਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਤਾਰ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਸਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬੈਟਰੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਦੀ ਬੈਟਰੀ ਉਸ ਮਾਰਗ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਰਿਸ਼ਤਾ ਕਰ ਨਾਤਾ ਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣਾ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਨਾਲ ਖੜੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੋ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਰੋ ਸਾਡੀ ਦੱਸੀ ਹੋਈ ਜੁਗਤੀ ਤੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਸਫਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦ ਬਰਡਸ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦ ਐਨੀਮਲਸ ਬਟ ਨਾਉ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਮੈਨ ਬੋਡੀ ਸੇਂਟ ਸੇ the man body as the top of creation some say that yeah it's the top of the creation next to god and he is the leader of all the bodies highest creation and are we happy in that body sometimes we have the sorrow sometimes we have been because we are sick sometimes we have worries about our unemployment sometimes we are having pain because we are taking we are being born sometimes we are having pain because we have to grow up and sometimes we are having pain of old age somebody is unhappy somebody is sorrowful somebody is suffering because he has taken the debt that someone has to pay back someone has to um, one has to pay back who has taken and who has given has to go and ask for the reimbursement somebody is suffering because of the children he has the children but the children are not obedient and some are suffering because they don't have any children and according to the worldly level the happiest man we we see is just like that musical instrument who out which we look outwardly very fine in shape but inside it is nothing okay. outside we can we see him that he is the happiest man but when we look inside him but when we look deep into his life we will see that he is also suffering guru nanak says oh nanak all the world is suffering whoever you see is suffering and whatever pleasures what happiness we are seeing in this world they are all temporary and after some times that happiness that pleasures will turn into the pain into, into sorrow so the saints say that everybody is suffering those who are wealthy they are also suffering because they have worry they are worried about the paying their income tax they are worried about their biz- about their business somebody is suffering because they are worried that the bank will fail or the currency will fail means they are also having the sufferings like something like that and those who are poor they are also suffering so nobody in this world is happy except those 
who are in the devotion, who have spent their life or who are on the path, on the path of devotion for the overlord.
سوالی پیدا نہیں کیا Only the repetition of the names of the term is not enough. That is not the complete sin. In that, in that case, the mind is wandering here and there in the world. The simran should be with the tongue of thought, and the mind should be still. And the experience which you had of the lower plane, there is no question of getting that experience to a certain degree. If he is doing the simran, right? Yes. Whenever you sit for meditation, you tell your mind that if he will bother you in your meditation, he will sit for four hours instead of two hours. And if he will do that on the next day, he will not bother you. Manli adat hai ke sa sangeen uprahe paake ke ee bhi khabar nahi karda ke mein tan uprahe paake. It is the habit of sa, it is the habit of mind that he will lead the sa sangeen to the bad path. And then also it will not make him realize that he is on the bad path. Jis simran te ke jam nahi kar sakda, dunia te khyaar us te ke kya kar sakda. Not even the angel of death can stand in front of that signal. And what is the question of the worldly thought to stand in front of the signal? Sada jati tijarwa hai ke si simar ni kar rahe hunde. It was also not there. Because when that machine was running only then the water was coming out. So when he brought that horse, when there was no noise, there was no water also. And again he went back. So he told him to again start the machine and he again did that. So again there was noise and water. But horse was frightened and he was not coming there. So in that way he was not able to drink the water. So that farmer told that man, that brother, if you want, if you are pleased or displeased with me, I don't, I don't care. But you will have to drink. You will have to make your horse drink the water in this noise. And after that, that man gave the beating to that horse, and again that horse was brought, and in that noise he drank that water. So it is similar. As long as we are in the world, we have to do our meditation in this tuck tuck in this noise of the world, <laughs> and mind will always bring the worldly thoughts within us. But when we will give the beating to our mind with this, with the weapon of Simran, only then our mind can be controlled, and only then we will be able to do that. So this struggle will always go, and you have to do it. <laughs> मेरे को उस टाइम दे रहे थे उस उसके प्रति मैं ग्रहण कारी नहीं बन सकता तो आप उसके बारे में मेरे को कुछ बताओगे कि किस तरह से मैं उस परेशानी को दूर करूं सही में ये साढे मन भी मन दुनिया में खेलना ना मेरा हो चुका कोई भी माँ पुरुष या साढे तो नहीं जाता है मन लोगे कब्राट हो जाती है कि मैंने उन्हें कह दो Okay, Alan was pregnant with Penny because he was a friend. Alan, how are you doing? He asked me what time she said it was wrong and I told him what time she said it was wrong. He said, oh, there was no problem. He said, oh, there was no problem. He asked only about the kids. No, he told you. He didn't know. He told you. I told you about the kids. बच्चियाँ वाले मैं उसने कह देता सी कभी देख पाई जब तू नाल जामे तो ना जुम्मे वाली बच्चियाँ दी देख पाल रखनी। And I told him that if you are if you want if you are willing to take the
ਅਸਲੀਅਤ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀ ਕਦਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਤਨਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਵੇ ਉਤਨਾ ਲਗਾ ਲੈਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਟੂਰਿਸਟ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਮੂਮੈਂਟਸ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਪੁਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁੱਡ ਫॉर ਅਸ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹੂੰਗੀ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਥੋੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਚਾਈ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਸੱਚ ਬੋਲਣੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹ ਸੱਚਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਕਰਨੇ ਦੇ ਸੱਚ ਸਤੋ ਗੁਣ ਅੰਸ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨ ਬੋਲ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਕਿ ਆਏ ਬਈ ਗੱਡਾ ਕਢਾਈ ਜਰਾ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਇਹ ਕਾਦਮੀ ਬੈਠਾ ਭਜਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ 40 ਮੀਲ ਜਿਸ ਗੱਲ ਚੋਂ ਕੁਝ ਲੈਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੱਡਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਚੁੱਪ ਸਾਈ ਬੈਠਾ ਕੀ ਇਹ ਭਜਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਚਲੋ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਕੀਲ ਨੇ ਪਕੜ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਦੱਸ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਉਬਰੀਕੀ ਨਾ ਨਾ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਜਾਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਉਹਨੇ ਸੁੱਤੇ ਪਏ ਨਹੀਂ ਉੱਠਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਡੇਰੀ ਚ ਲਿਖ ਦੇਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ 2 ਘੰਟੇ ਰਿਆ ਸੀ 1150 people were sitting in meditation and there was one man who used to say that he never sleeps in the meditation but he was using very big comforter so i used to tell him that when you are using this big comforter comforter then it is natural that you will get sleepy and you will sleep but he was not <coughs> taking my word he was not believing that so once in night everybody was meditating and he was sleeping in the meditation and he was snoring so i got up and at that time it was 3 o'clock and people had started doing meditation so i called one other man like a witness that he should also come and see that he is snoring and he is not doing meditation and after that everybody was woke up everybody was told to get up for meditation and i asked him that you tr- truly you tell me that at what place did you go when you were sitting in meditation and when you were sleeping so he told me that his other village was 40 miles away from the place where he was sitting for meditation and he was there and his cart which was full of woods was was stopped by one berry tree and he was calling his brother to help him to get out his cart so people are sitting for meditation but his mind but their mind is taking them many miles away from from him and after that when they get up from meditation they put in the diary that they sat for 2 hours in meditation ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਕੋਈ ਐਸਾ ਸ਼ਖਸ ਪੈਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਭਜਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਚ ਕੋਈ ਨੁਕਸ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਨੁਕਸ ਕੱਢਦੇ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਨੋ ਮੈਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਐਵਰ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਹੂ ਆਫਟਰ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਟਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਡ ਆਊਟ ਐਨੀ ਫਾਲਟ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਮੈਡੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਦੇ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਊਟ ਫਾਲਟ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਵਣ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਗੁਲਾਬ ਜਾਮਨਾ ਰਸਗੁੱਲੇ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਵੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਇਹੀ ਕੁਝ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਂ ਮਸਤਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਔਰ ਮਸਤਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਔਰ ਬਲੋਚਿਸਤਾਨ ਹੀ ਗਾਟ ਸਚ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਮ ਦੈਟ ਹੀ ਮੇਡ ਬਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਬਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਰੁਪੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਮਨੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨ ਰਾਜਸਥਾਨ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਲੰਗਰ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਪੂਰੀ ਕਚੋਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਲ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਡਿਲੀਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਫੂਡ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਸਵੀਟ ਹੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਫੂਡ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਔਰ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਬਲੋਚਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਮਸਤਾਨੇ ਦੇ ਮਗਰ ਮਗਰ ਘੁੰਮਦੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਅਨੇਕਾ ਦਫਾ ਤਲਾਸੀ ਲਈ ਅਨੇਕਾ ਦਫਾ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਪਕੜਿਆ ਵੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਕੋਲੇ ਨੋਟਾ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜਦ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਰੋੜੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਭਰਿਆ ਸਰਾਣਾ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਸੀ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਾਸ ਚੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਮਸਤਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਦਰ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸਸਪੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਮਸਤਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਦੀ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਟੂ
जी चढ़ है जा जानी जी बीर था जानी अपना नाम नाम जपाया अपना नाम नाम जपाया ठाकुर तुम शरणाई आया ठाकुर तुम शरणाई आया दुख न थे सुख सहज समाए जी सहज समाए
Our train is pulling through the desert of northern Rajasthan. We're nearing the end of a journey that began several days before in the 747 jetliner out of Boston. Our party consisted of six adults, one teenager, two small babies. We're heading for the hottest part of India at the hottest time of the year in order to have the darshan of a saint. Some people would think that we might be mad. Perhaps we are mad with love, as the poets say. This part of India was once a total desert, a total wasteland. About 30 years ago, a canal system was put through, and this made possible the planting of the trees that you can see in the screen in front. Our destination, a tiny ashram in an obscure village where Santa Jab Singh lives, is still approximately half an hour by train and two hours by jeep away. After the train pulls into Ganga Nagar station, the party has to pile into two jeeps with ourselves and our ton and a half of luggage and drive through the first small villages and then right across the middle of the desert in order to reach the ashram where Santa Jeb Singh lives. When we arrived, this is the Ganga Nagar station. Here. The temperature in these days was approximately 120 degrees at all times in the middle of the day. When we arrived, Santa Jeb Singh greeted us and then we held satsang. The satsang was held in a beautiful grove just about two minutes walk away from the ashram. He walked there and we followed down the side of a canal and then sat under the trees and heard him expound the sayings of the past masters. Santa Jeb Singh satsangs are attended by approximately three, four hundred people. These are the monthly satsangs held on the day after the full moon of each month, some of whom walk up to as far as 15 or 20 miles in order to attend the satsang and have his darshan. People attend who are initiated by different gurus and members of different sects, but he has love for all and they have love for him. 
The teachings given out at these satsangs in the Punjabi language are the same as that given out by his master, the late, very, very great Baba Kripal Singh Ji of Delhi. To love God, to love our neighbor, to do meditation, to go within, to find God in our own selves, to abstain from eating meat and drinking as the primary means in order to achieve that end. This basic, very simple teaching is presented in simple language with similes from everyday occurrences of the villagers and consequently he has won the hearts of the vast majority of all the villages within this radius. These are the drivers of the Jeeps that brought us here and also took us on the tour because the day after we arrived, Santa Jeb Singh took us on a tour of nearby villages in order for us to meet them and them to meet us. We visited five villages in two days, held you know, satsang in every place and everyone was very glad to see him and also to greet us. On this, on this tour, the jeeps went through roads that aren't roads, forded canals, down gullies. Sanchi sat in the front seat of the jeep, straddling the gear shift. There were four of us sitting in the front seat and seven or eight in back of both jeeps. Never in my life have I experienced rides anything like it. Yep. This is the first stop on the tour, village of 64 RB, where Santi held satsang. In this village, there are only three initiates. It was a hot day. giving Prashad after satsang. We got it too. Lots of friends, brothers and sisters from a far land. There isn't one modern convenience at this ashram or in this village or any place within 10 or 20 miles. This is Sanchi's ashram where we have now returned. And yet, despite the fact that there isn't one modern convenience, all of us who were here agreed that we had never been more comfortable in our lives. We slept out under the stars on simple rope beds. Water is brought by a pump. These fields which adjoin the ashram are donated by the satsangis in the village for the use of the ashram. Camel is called the airplane of Rajasthan. Absolutely, totally useful animal. You see them everywhere. Every night satsang was held by the light of a kerosene lamp, one of our most beautiful memories.
महाराज हो इस वास्ते आप प्यार समझाते हैं कि जब तक कुंजी वाला गुरु ना मिले तो सू परमात्मा नहीं मिलता गा इस वास्ते कबीर साहब तकीद करते हैं साधु को मिलने जाइए साथ न लीए को पाछे पौना दीजिए आगे हो सो हो Every morning we had darshan in Sanchi's room for usually three to four hours. On this particular morning, he got down a copy of the third world tour of Kripal Singh, which I had sent to him previously, and he was looking over the pictures and derived great joy in finding pictures of us and also pictures of people connected with us and other people that he was interested in. this ashram. There's the pump there from which all the water came, the bathing place and washing place. The beds are all portable. A tree that hopefully will be a big tree someday. The gate out. A world of its own. The next darshan session that we had, we took with us some color postcards of New Hampshire scenery because they contrasted so vividly with the scenery of the place where we were. Sanji was very interested in that, including one of the old man of the mountain, and then he went beyond that to more important matters. Yeah. 
Most of them are in the fall of the year when the leaves turn. No, this is in the autumn. You see. We are here almost here like this. I also will be happy to have this to have you see. Maybe I'll come on later to that cushion. मैं ऐसे दृश्य मंसूरी या शिमला वगैरह देख देखता रहा मेरा दिल बहुत उसी पर जिंदा लगता है एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ नेचुरल थिंग दैट्स अ फेस इट्स इट्स जस्ट नेचुरल इट्स कॉल्ड द ओल्ड मैन ऑफ द माउंटेन इन अबाउट सेवेंटी माइल्स अवे फ्रॉम द आश्रम सत्तर मील की दूरी पे और अंदर बहुत अच्छी लाइट देखता बहुत अच्छे नजारे अंदर देखता और उन नजारा से कभी दिल ना हमारा थकता देखने से ये इन्होंने मेरे को कहा कि यू नीड टू स्टॉप दिस फॉर अ वाइल कि इट्स बिल इन ट्रूथ एस वेल तो बीरबल कहने लगे जितना आँख और कान में फर्क है बीरबल टोल दैट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यर एंड आई क्योंकि आँख की देखा आँख आँख का देखा सच है कान का सुना है वह गलत हो सकता है Believe what you see, and not, and don't believe what you hear, because probably, possibly, what you hear, it might be true or not. But what you see, that is true. On the life of Dr. Molino, or if anybody have doubt, they can go to see Dr. Molino. Or they can come to me and see me for further clarification, and after that they can comment on this letter, whether they, whether it is true or not. And if anybody is going to abuse or if anybody is going to comment on this letter without meeting Dr. Malina or me or without knowing the truth, then it is not good for him also. Yes. And uh, it would have happened that. हम उनको अच्छी तरह जानते अच्छी तरह बात करना उन लोगों को ख्याला requested Sanji to record on sound film a message for the master's disciples in the west and he graciously agreed and on the last morning of our stay the last the morning of the last full day of our stay he did do it so we are very grateful the power and charging that was in the room at the time this message was given was just unbelievable. That, of course, was not captured on the camera. I wish that it could be and that everyone could have experienced that the way that I did. The message was given in his room where we had our usual darshan sessions 
unfortunately is marred by the fact that the batteries in the camera began to fail toward the end of it, so that we have to substitute the sound and simply relate what he said at the very end. Nonetheless, the message is one of first importance for all of Master's disciples to hear, and I hope that everyone takes it with the utmost seriousness. The message follows. आपन सतगुरु कृपाल छोड़कर कहीं नहीं गए हमेशा अपने साथ है और अपनी रखवाली हमेशा ही कर रहे हैं गुरु कभी इस दुनिया से अलोक नहीं होंगे वो हमेशा ही रहते हैं सिर्फ बॉडी बदलते हैं सानू सब सत्संगियां नु आप श्री में प्यार प्रेम नाल उना दा दसया हुआ तरीका अपनाना चाहिए भजन सुनन ते जोर देना चाहिए है डियर सत्संगीस Ladies and gentlemen, Master Kirpal has not left us. He is always with us and protecting us in every aspect of our life. And we should love each other in order to carry out the teachings of our Master. Pajan karne se atman shanti hundi hai. Jad atman shanti hai, to thehir yes ek dusre se pyar kar sakde hain, mahabat kar sakde hain. सब सत्संगी साडे बहन भ्रा है सानु हर एक दी इज्जत करनी चाहिदी है प्यार करना चाहिदा है हजूर महाराज बाबा जी सानु प्यार ही सिखा के गए है और प्यार दा संदेश देके गए है सो ओना दे प्यार दे संदेश नु असी संभाल के रखना है और आप श्री में प्यार ही करना है मेडिटेशन विल ब्रिंग पीस टू आवर सोल एंड इफ आवर पी इफ आवर सोल इज एट रेस्ट एंड इन पीस देन ओनली वी विल लव ईच अदर and must, our master has taught us the same thing that we have to love <coughs> each other so we have to work according to his wish and we have to love all other all our satsangis and all our brothers and sisters agar aap kisi di nindya karde hain to nindya karne wale nu bahut ghata penda hai kyunki huzur maharaj baba ji samjhaunde hunde si ki jis di tum nindya karde ho nukta ki nahi karde ho उस दे जितने पाप है तोड़े खाते दे विच जमा हो जानगे तोड़े जितने भी पुण्य है या जितने भी अच्छे कर्म है जिस दिन तुम निंद्या कर दे हो जिस दिन तुम आलोचना कर दे हो उस दे खाते दे विच जमा हो जानगे सो निंद्या करने वाले दा बहुत पारा नुकसान होता है और सानु कदे भी पुल के किसी दिन निंद्या नहीं करनी चाहिए दी गुरु नानक साहब कहने या निंद्या पड़ी कहूं कि ना ही मानमुख मुग्द करन मुंह काले तन निंद का नरके को उर्पवन If we abuse anybody, then it is our great loss. Master Kripal also used to say that those who abuse others, they are losing very much. All the sins of the, they receive all the sins and give all that punya to 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 whom they abuse. Guru Nanak also says that those who abuse others, they are make they are making the. It is our great loss who abuse others. Jadma Khoi Devi Chisi Maharaj Sahib Singh De Darshanu Gaye. Ona Ne Bi Aisa Hi Kya Si Guru Nanak Sahib Da Ke Par Nindya Par Mal Mukhsudi Agan Kro Chandal Ko Kain Lagye Ke Kisi Di Nindya. See Baba Sahib Singh. Then Baba Sahib Singh also told me the same thing that if you are abusing others, then it is. Very bad to abuse others because there is no taste in abusing others. You can get taste or you can get pleasure using your other outgoing faculties, but with abuse, you are not going to have any taste or any pleasure. So you are not to abuse or you are not to comment upon anybody else. So, pyare bhaiyo aur bhano, sab sasangiyanu, usi ehi bhanti karde hain ke agar usi Sanji concluded his message with these words. So, dear ones, I request you not to abuse any satsangi or any other person. Because when anyone is initiated by any master, the master takes his seat in the disciple's body. 
So if we abuse any disciple, then it is the same as if we are abusing our master. So I request you not to abuse anybody, to put in more time in meditation, and bhajan and simran will be very good for your life. Master told us to leave a hundred urgent works to attend satsang and a thousand urgent works for meditation. I request you to put in more time for meditation and attend satsang and not to abuse anybody because abuse will not help your meditation. It is the ones who are not meditating who are abusing. So you are to be careful that you are not abusing others and are putting in more time in meditation. I hope you have followed what I have said.